And they have become callous, having given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity with greediness. That's Ephesians 4.19. It's been a long, full day, and I've gotten a lot done, but it kind of got away from me. And here I am late, and I was like, what, what do I talk about? Um, so many different things I could talk about, but I feel like the world is just being pushed into such a dark place and so many that have rejected the truth because we've been conditioned that that direction our entire lives are just lost and feeling overwhelmed and it's pushing us further and further into that dark place where we start to hate people that we think think differently that we we believe are wrong not lagging behind in diligence fervent in spirit serving the lord that's where our hearts should be. That's Romans 12:11, um, Psalms 38:10. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even that, has gone from me. Psalm 143:4. Therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me; my heart is appalled within me. In our deep inner place. Our spirit knows truth. God's moral law is written on our hearts. It speaks to us through our conscience. So when we are drawn in to the darkness and depravity of this world, the self-loving nature that is thrust upon us to make us love everything of the flesh, forsaking the need to serve others and not ourselves first, it draws us into that dark place and we can feel it unless we allow the world to condition us to sear our conscience and i know i keep talking about this all the time but it's it's really the only thing god puts on my heart because people need to hear the truth and maybe one person will hear it that didn't hear it another time i'll finish with jeremiah six fifteen. were they ashamed because of the abomination they have done they were not even ashamed at all they did not even know how to blush therefore they shall fall among those who fall at the time that i punish them they shall be cast down, says the Lord. But we're living in a time of grace, the age of grace. The Lord does not want anyone to perish, speaking eternally. He wants everyone to come to the full knowledge of who God is, of who the Creator is, revealed through Jesus Christ. He has given us time. But the God of this world is using all of that time to try to turn us against our Creator, to try to turn us against Everything we were created to know naturally, because the evidence is all around us. But when we're focused on all the things that we want in this world and forsake the eternal, we allow ourselves to become blinded with our seared conscience. So, I pray you take a time out. Maybe turn off the television, get off social media, open up the Word of God. But just get out in nature and seek peace through the main source of it, the only source of it. And that's Jesus Christ, who is the human, living, eternal God that came in the flesh to die for us. Pray this finds you well. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.